Hello, I'm going to work in my six by six inch black book. Um, here it is so far. All I've got is one page to finish and it's the back of this page. I've got some jelly printing on, so that's a lot of the work is already done for me. And the rest of the work is more or less done for me as well, because I've got these collage papers here and I'm looking at them thinking, there's some nice little bits there that I could use, but I'm going to go for the dragonfly. So I'm going to tear off some bits that, um, that suit this page. It's very useful having some collage papers already done in advance. I've got various forms of them now because I've done some on teal roll as well. It's very handy. It does speed up the process if you're if you're a bit short of time. You want to make you want to make an art journal page, but you're a bit short of time. At least this way, you've got something to go with. And I'm trying to include as much of the sewing as possible because I want I want that element to be on this page. So I'm carefully tearing it. I want torn edges rather than uh, straight cut edges. And I think I'm going to tear a bit off the bottom as well. I'm having a look to see where the stitching finishes and starts. Yes, I definitely need to take some of the bottom off. I'm using a ruler. Just getting my ruler because um, with some paper, with most papers actually, there's sort of a grain to it. You can tear one way, but not the other way. And this is the other way that doesn't tear straight. So I'm using the ruler to help me. And of course it doesn't tear it very well, but that's okay. Tear, just pull that bit off. And I've got some nice rough edges there. That's good. Um, the only bit I'm not sure about is on the bottom right hand corner. Um, there here um, that's too white but I'm going to add a little bit of paint on that anyway so I've cut out me rooting through my magic box of words I've got some words that are quite like on the right hand side I was thinking about but I've gone for make a fresh start which is um, not stuck down but it's just there underneath the dragonfly and I'm just going to put these other words away now this is the way I like to work I like to get a few words out so sometimes I can make a phrase of words so I've got to put that away. I love my box of words. I need to go through some magazines to get some more. Right, so I've got to glue that down there like that. But first of all, I need to do that bit of edge and I've got to pop that writing underneath somewhere. But I'm going to, I'm going to work on this now. I did consider putting it that way around, but no, it doesn't work at all like that. The way I originally wanted it. It's quite often you will lay something out and in the end you decide that's the way I want it. Right, so what I'm going to do now is going to get one of my acrylic pens that I received for, as a gift for Christmas. And I'm going to get the pink one. I'm going to use my glue book as a base so I don't get paint all over my background here. So I'm getting my pink pen out I'll have to give it a good shake. It's got a ball inside or bearing inside. You have to shake it up. So I'm giving it a good shake. They are great. I really like them. These are new to me. I think they're a bit like chocolas. So I'm just going to do that on the edge, just to get rid of that white edge, which is a bit harsh. It's a very pretty pink. Right, and that dries fairly quickly as well. It's just like acrylic paint. So that's good. Now I can glue that down onto the page. So I still need my glue book for the gluing, but I'm going to turn the page because there's a bit of paint there. I don't want to get that everywhere. And I'm just going to use glue stick. another cold day here today we had a little bit of snow but not much it didn't settle but I think we might be getting some more tomorrow it's very wintry it's cold in the studio <laughs> I had the window open because I was working with solvents earlier all right
right so that just goes down in the center but I'm keeping clear of the holes because this is a disc bound book and that's the disc bound slot disc binding slots there we go that's down and I just need to put the word on and do some embellishment it's a very quick page I'm so pleased with that sewing that's great Pressing it down firmly. Having a little bit of a think about what to do next, whether to look through my embellishments first. And I'm going to get my, I think I'm going to get my tin of embellishments out. I've got a tin and a box now. Oh, I'm going to use some eyelets later. Of course. <laughs> but I just want to think how I want the page to fit to look like at the end. So this is my little tin of embellishments. I think that's got some insects in. Here's some insects and some eggs. And there's already an insect on the page, so I don't want to add another insect. But the words I'm going for uh, will suit eggs actually. So I've got one egg. Somehow that's not enough. <laughs> oh, I love my little birds. Love my little, oh, I love my little feather. But these two other eggs might do the trick for me. I'm thinking like that on the top there. I'm going to go for that, I think. I will get some more embellishments out and have a little look at those as well. This is my other box of embellishments. I've got this lady's face. She's nice, but she covers the dragonfly completely. I did consider just having her wings showing, having the wings showing, but um, that's a shame to lose the dragonfly, I thought. I'll use her in something eventually. So I'll go through my box. I've got all sorts in here. I've got plants, I've got leaves, I've got pumpkins, I've got my mushrooms. I've got some just squiggly bits and some other odds and ends. There's always something I could pick out, but I've thought about that, but i put that away. I'll use that one day. I quite like this little shape that I made, and I thought that might look okay, but the colour's a bit too similar to the background. So after going through that box, I think I've, going back to the initial idea of the eggs. I did think about that bird as well, but I've used the birds a bit too much lately. I think we're going to go with the eggs. Isn't, amaz isn't it amazing that shops have eggs on their shelves already? Oh, it's exciting. Looking forward to Easter. I hope things will be a bit better by then. So I'm going to use these. and I'm going to group them as three. I'm experimenting with how to do that, but of course. Um, they're okay like that, but I think they'd be mm, quite like them like that, actually, though. <laughs> but I want them hanging off the edge of the page. They're going to go higher up like that. I'm going to group them. I've done that before on this in this little book. You'll, I'm going to do a flip through of it because this is the last page. So I'm going to do a flip through of the book at the very end. So hang around for that. So those are going to stick down like that. I'm going to go for it. And I think eggs and make a fresh start go together really well, don't they? Because eggs are a symbol of renewal. Which is why we have them at Easter. So I'm going to go for that. Uh, because the eggs are on heavier weight paper, I'm going to use 3-in-1 um, glue or fi uh, Fabri-Tac to stick it down. My 3-in-1 glue has gone a bit mental. It leaked everywhere. Let's not discuss that. It's a mess. It's a horrible mess. So, right. i going to get my glue pages down. And here we are with the Fabri-Tac glue. I don't, I don't really don't think that um, glue stick would be strong enough. So I'm going to pop that one there, pressing it down firmly. I'm going to have the blue one in the middle because it breaks them up. Little blue speckled egg. I 
I do love the smell of this glue. It's so nice. Right, I'm just going to pop that next to it there. And I want it to cover the gap. That's it. A bit. That's it. That's perfect. And I'm going to use the pink swirly one now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an eyelet all the way through them, and it's uh, you'll see later in a minute. It's a bit of a bit of a struggle. I think I was a bit ambitious with that, but never mind. I, I, I succeeded in the end. I just thought it would hold them down. But they probably didn't need it really. There. giving time for the glue to set and then um, I can do the battle with the eyelet holder eyelet thingy here we go getting the set out now we're gonna go for it now are we looks like it <laughs> and I've sped up the battle because what a battle so I've sped it up a bit so um, I'm gonna go fast in a minute so I'm going through all three there great idea and it's hard work. It just seems to go through one layer at a time. As you can see, I've spread it out. I thought I'd done it then, but no. One more go this side, and then I'll try the other side. But I can see the mark. I can see where it is on the other side, but still. We haven't gone through to the other side yet. That's it. I can do it now. Need something to poke that last, last little bit out. There we go. Hooray. And I'm going to find a pink eyelet to put through. And it only just fits through, you see. But if I squish it down, it holds it in, holds it in place. Right now I can put my words down and then I'll I'll show you the entire book. I think there's some pages you may not have seen. I not only need glue stick for this, it's only on thin paper. nice to think of a fresh start isn't it that's quite good for the last page in the book I can start a new book well I've already got several started so I'm not going to make another one but I can get cracking with my other books now but this one is finished so I'm just going to pop it in and I'm going to show you the rest of the book it was some black card that I cut to 60 by 6 and bound in the disc, with a disc binding system. It's the front page. This first page I did, um, I bought a class from Katie Crane, the Catherine Wheel, and had to go with her techniques, which I really liked. So these are the experiments I did with those. This one, these two pages are a double page spread. Love that, I think this is one of my favorites. I've got a dangly on this as well. This is one of my Beatles. I think this is when I first made the Beatles. I love that and I've sewn him down. This page has got a nice um, safety pin dangly. Another beetle. Refuge, I like that one. And this one is Inspire. Inspire. They look, all of them have words actually. This is when autumn came around and I started thinking about pumpkins and harvest. I love that one. I do like that. That's one of my favorites, I think. This one I love. These are some leaves I cut out. I do like grouping in groups of three. I stapled those on. Secret walks. And then this is the back of the page I've just done. 
So that's the page I've just done. There's this one, Be More Absent. I love that one. I think I've shown that one. And this one I've shown as well. The one about sending a letter. And that's the um, final page I did, apart from the fact that I was finishing off one of the other back pages. And that's it. That's my little 6 by 6 book finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm, I'm so glad to have finished this. Thank you for watching. Bye.